It is widely known that humans' use of fossil fuels has contributed to the increase in planet warming greenhouse gases. But could animals be part of the answer to combating climate change? We met researchers on opposite sides of the globe who found that reintroducing wildlife to some areas could make a difference. Romania's Carpathian Mountains are some of Europe's last untouched nature. While small agrarian villages hug the hillsides, lakes, rivers, and a sea of trees dominate the landscape. On a warm summer day last year, we ventured into the heart of this vast wilderness in search of something special. We already found some uh, nice bison flesh tracks here. Biologist Matei Mukulescu studies a unique herd of bison that have only recently reoccupied their habitat after a 200-year absence. The reason why they were extinct was, of course, the first one was, uh, was the hunting, but also, of course, the, the fact that the bison habitat was reduced more and more because of the human pressure. Ten years ago, with support from nonprofits Rewilding Europe and the World Wildlife Fund Romania, a handful of bison were released into the wild. Today, there are at least 200. But even as Europe's largest mammal, they know how to keep out of sight. It will be difficult to get closer to them because they'll hear us, they'll see us and they'll run away. So now well, it's basically a waiting game. These majestic one-ton grazers serve an important purpose. Their endless appetite for shrubs and grass keeps meadows clear, while their fur and dung spread seeds, all adding up to a healthier and more productive environment. We have actually a good example of the bison working to keep this meadow open. Even how they source insect repellent has broad benefits. By eating the bark, on some of the trees or rubbing on them, it helps this meadow to, to stay open for a longer period of time, which of course it will mean more food here in the forest for the bison, but also for other smaller herbivores. Scientists call bison a keystone species because like beavers, sea otters and wolves, they help maintain a healthy ecosystem. But new research shows their positive impact could be even bigger. We're only learning now that uh, animals like bison can have a tremendous impact on the carbon cycles. Oswald Schmitz from Yale School of the Environment is building a body of research dedicated to the impact of animals on climate change. What we want to do is learn the feasibility of you know, using these animals to um, be a natural climate solution in, in, in terms of their ability to boost the carbon storage in ecosystems. Bison naturally instigate processes that increase carbon capture. They graze on grassland vegetation. They nourish the grasses through their dung release and increase and boost the productivity of, of the grasslands and thereby um, enables the plants to capture more carbon and, and store it on the earth. A similar process is also happening in our oceans. The term we've used for seagrasses, salt marshes and mangroves, in other words, the habitats in the ocean that sequester carbon and can help fight climate change really, really well. We call those blue carbon habitats. Marine scientists Melissa Ward and Catherine Beheshti are working to restore eelgrass in Elkhorn Slough, an estuary off Monterey Bay, California. So the ocean absorbs some of the atmospheric CO2 and that goes into the seawater, just dissolved in seawater, and then the seagrass pulls it out of the seawater and putting it in its roots and the sediment underneath. But keeping this eelgrass healthy means controlling the tiny plants that live on top of them. And this is where an animal comes in. And so it's harmful to the eelgrass when the epiphytes are too abundant. And so by the otters eating the crabs that eat the grazers, it allows the grazer population to increase, mow down all those epiphytes and keep the eelgrass really healthy. The Monterey Bay has one of the highest sea otter populations in the world, thanks to decades of marine protections, which is good news for this eelgrass blue carbon ecosystem. Back at Yale, Schmitz is developing a mathematical model to measure the impact of animals like sea otters and bison on the carbon cycle. What we're finding is that introducing the bison could potentially boost the amount of carbon that's captured and stored in those ecosystems 
by anywhere from two to nine times more than, than what would be done in the absence of these animals. Schmitz published a paper in 2023 in collaboration with several scientists that shows how animals around the globe can help counter climate change. They project that if just nine key species were restored and protected, including wildebeest, whales, and elephants, it could offset the equivalent of the United States CO2 emissions annually. Just those nine groups of animals that we, we looked at can take up uh, six billion tons of carbon on the planet. While the data shows promise, it would require greater coexistence with animals and more convincing that wildlife policy is also climate change policy. Global policy that is interested in protecting biodiversity isn't drawing the connections between conservation and fixing the climate problem in, in any large measure. They're, they're, they're treated as two separate sorts of things, protecting species in preserves and national parks and you know, reducing emissions and finding technologies that can help save us. But the fact of the matter is the world has always depended on nature to store its carbon. The question now is whether humans are willing to help it. You know, as a first resort, I think we should look to nature and, and be better stewards of nature to encourage that to happen. And Michelle, it's all about that connection between capturing carbon. I mean, imagine six billion tons out of the atmosphere if we allowed these types of animals to do what they do on a natural basis. It this is new science. I mean, it makes sense, though, the logic right. that, that Mother Earth would create species that would have a symbiotic relationship with it to keep it going. And it's right? basically everything. We're talking sharks, marine fish, you saw wolf, elephants. So. And those cute little otters. Love to see them eat. See them chowing down. Yeah. Let well. them live is the point. <laughs>